In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to join vectors and I'll go over a few other of the icons over here in this group over here. I think to start out with, I'm going to move some things around here. Just shift them off center a little. Now, I believe the first thing that I'll do is center the entire thing up in the window. In order to do that, you can click either center in material which is this icon here. You could shift left to the center, left and right, then up to center, up and down. Or you can just click this one, which is center in material, and it centers the entire object up in the middle of the material. Next thing I need to do is center this square, this rectangle, up in this circle. Now there are a couple of ways I can select this that will make it react differently. If I choose the circle first, then the rectangle, and I tell it to center the object, the circle shifts to around the rectangle. That's not what we want. It would have worked, but that's not what we want. So by selecting the rectangle first, then the circle, we click the same icon, center objects, it moves the rectangle to the center of the circle. One more thing that I'll mention here before I go any further. If I drag a rectangle around objects this way, I will only get the rectangle in this group that I'm selecting here, because that was the only thing that I had completely enclosed with my rectangle, with my box. If I drag it from this direction, I will get both objects because part of the box was covering both items. So depending on what you want, if you want all these things, you can just drag from this direction and just get part of them. If you only want the rectangle, you can drag from this direction. And because it's the only thing that's completely enclosed, it will be the only thing selected. Now, to get back to the other. I want my circle and rectangle inside here to be centered in the big rectangle. Now, I drag a box around these two. Hold down shift, select this. I click center objects and the two smaller ones move up into the center of the big rectangle. Now we get back to joining our rectangle and we can test to see if this is joined, although we can see it here we could test to see if this were joined by selecting Join Open Vectors. It will tell us how many closed vectors we have and how many open vectors we have selected. It says we have one open, which we know already. If this were within four ten thousandths of an inch, 
if the two points, the two endpoints were within four ten thousandths of an inch, I could click join and it would join them for me. However, it's beyond that, so I could either raise this up to maybe an inch or something for tolerance and then it would allow me to join it or I can close this. I can come back down here I can join it a couple of different ways. I can join it with a straight line. I can join it with a smooth curve. Or I could drag both points to a common point. I'm going to join it with a straight line. Now remember, we had an open vector when we clicked this last time. If I click it again, now we have one closed vector. Since we only have one vector selected, we know that our shape is joined. And I will close this. I think this is where I'm going to end this tutorial. Thank you.